the race toward last mile automation is apparently back on. Amazon's new research lab just reported a big breakthrough that could accelerate the push for autonomous humanoid robots toward your doorstep and pretty much anywhere else. Meanwhile, DoorDash is jumping into hardware with its new adorable mobile robot it hopes triggers new growth. Also, 7-Eleven Japan is going all in on humanoids as a rising US robot manufacturer plots to counter China's sprawling robot gyms with its own data collection bases. Some of us knew this was coming, maybe a little bit sooner than we thought. Launched by Stanford students in 2013, DoorDash has become synonymous with on-demand food delivery. Its business model, heavily reliant on gig workers called dashers, proved so effective, it reshaped how Americans perceive convenience in dining. Now publicly traded and headquartered in San Francisco, the company just officially unveiled its first self-developed delivery robot. The autonomous wheeled machine named Dot features a rounded red body that makes it look approachable and non-threatening. Two LED lights resemble eyes, while a dome-shaped cap houses sensors and cameras. A LiDAR unit mounted on its top is for autonomous navigation. At about 137 centimeters or four and a half feet, Dot is roughly the height and footprint of a child's stroller. Though it's much heavier at 159 kilos or 350 pounds, the robot was built by DoorDash Labs, the company's research and development wing launched in 2018. DoorDash has been exploring last-mile automation since at least 2017. That, however, is its first in-house hardware product. The pilot program is currently running in Tempe and Mesa, Arizona, with the potential to reach up to one and a half million people by the end of the year. According to DoorDash, Dot navigates complex urban environments and has a payload capacity of nearly 14 kilograms or 30 pounds. That's roughly the equivalent of six large pizzas. It reaches speeds up to 20 miles or 32 kilometers per hour and runs a reported six hours on a swappable battery. The robot integrates into DoorDash's new autonomous delivery platform, described as an artificial dispatcher that decides whether an order should be handled by a human dasher or a machine. The company says it's completed hundreds of deliveries with the robot but declined to disclose how many units are operational. It describes the current phase as an early access pilot. DoorDash insists its autonomous pursuits are not intended to replace human drivers, but to take on small delivery jobs that aren't profitable for dashers. Whether that intention holds in practice is an open question. Meanwhile, Amazon is taking big steps toward last-mile automation as it trains humanoids for real-world tasks. Its new Fundamental Artificial Intelligence Research Lab, known as Amazon FAR, just unveiled a new system called Omni Retarget that makes it easier to teach robots new skills by watching humans. The researchers say the breakthrough tackles one of the biggest blockers to general-purpose robotics, the messy gap between human movement and robot execution. According to the team's paper, Omni Retarget focuses on the interactions that matter, like where the feet touch the ground, how the hands grip an object, and how the body maintains balance. The lab shared this footage of this Chinese unitary G1 humanoid executing tasks from just a handful of human demonstrations. With the Omni Retarget pipeline, the motions were cleaned up, retargeted, and then used to train reinforcement learning policies in simulation. Those policies transferred zero shot to the real robot. It performs full body, interaction heavy behaviors like carrying boxes across uneven terrain, climbing up platforms, and even parkour style sequences with jumps and rolls. It basically supercharges the kinds of skills that made Boston Dynamics' Atlas Humanoid Robot go viral. It's a step toward robots that can watch a human do something and then do it themselves almost right away. Amazon launched the research lab earlier in 2025 as multiple news outlets reported it was developing software to control humanoids that could one day perform doorstep delivery. Engineers reportedly set up a humanoid park at a San Francisco facility for testing. The idea is that robots could ride in Amazon's Rivian vans and spring out to make deliveries. 
Amazon was one of the first to explore humanoid robotics at scale when it began testing Digit by Agility Robotics in 2023. Oregon-based Agility has been mentioned as one of the companies Amazon is considering for its last mile ambitions. In Japan, 7-Eleven is rushing to replace store workers with humanoid robots. The convenience store chain says it's developing a humanoid robot named Astra with Tokyo-based telexistence for stocking, cleaning, and customer interaction. 7-Eleven Japan dominates the country's convenience store landscape, with more than 21,000 stores nationwide, backed by its parent company, 7-NI Holdings. 7-Eleven Japan has been aggressively automating its operations to ease labor shortages and cut costs. It's already tested autonomous delivery robots on the streets of Tokyo and robotic avatars for remote staff. According to a news release, 7-Eleven's humanoid robot will be powered by a Vision Language Action Model, or VLA, fueled by the massive real-world motion dataset Telexistence is building. The AI system perceives the world through cameras, understands natural language instructions, and turns that understanding into physical action through robotics. Telexistence, launched in 2017, already has an expanding footprint in Japan's retail and logistics sectors. The company defines its mission as empowering robots to grasp every single object in the world with advanced artificial intelligence. It secured $170 million in Series B funding in 2023, one of the largest ever for a Japanese robotics firm, with SoftBank, Foxconn, and KDDI among the key investors. The startup has already developed a humanoid called the Model T, designed for operators to control remotely using VR headsets and haptic feedback to perform tasks like picking up and placing items in store settings. With the technology, a single worker could potentially work at several stores. Telexistence is also working with San Francisco-based physical intelligence to co-develop advanced foundational models for greater robot autonomy. The company has already deployed its TX Ghost robots that automate beverage restocking in chilled backrooms at select 7-Eleven stores as well as for Family Mart, Japan's second largest convenience store chain. 7-Eleven Japan aims to bring the humanoid into stores by 2029. Telexistence does not publicly disclose pricing, but reports indicate it charges retailers monthly subscription fees that frame robots as employees, covering usage, maintenance, and teleoperation support. Meanwhile, in the US, Rich Tech Robotics is making bold claims about building a network of robotic data collection centers. Founded in 2016 and headquartered in Las Vegas, Rich Tech is best known for its robotic barista and bartender named Adam. The company, which has been listed on NASDAQ since 2023, recently showcased the system at the Kennedy Space Center's 75th anniversary event. Rich Tech now claims more than 400 robots deployed in industries ranging from hospitality and retail to senior living and casinos. That's up from 300 earlier this year. It's expanding its partnership with Ghost Kitchens America to bring automated food and drink preparation to Walmart stores across Georgia, Illinois, and beyond, with a goal of generating between $700,000 and $2 million in revenue per site annually. As Rich Tech expands its international footprint, partnering with the Beijing City of Design Development for a foreign invested R&D center, the company is positioning itself as more than a service robot manufacturer. Its Atom robots reportedly sell for around $180,000. Citing innovation economist Robert Atkinson's warning that general-purpose robotics is constrained by a lack of real-world data, Rich Tech argues that synthetic data alone cannot match China's rapid advances. Without revealing specifics, Rich Tech recently announced it plans to build large robotic data centers on U.S. soil where fleets of autonomous machines will collect real-world operational data. Rich Tech recently acquired a 20,000-square-foot property in Vegas to expand its headquarters, aiming to quadruple its manufacturing output. China has surged ahead in building out large-scale robot gyms and data training bases, with dozens of facilities already operating. The Silicon Valley-based startup figure is also prioritizing data collection as it races to deploy 100,000 of its autonomous humanoids within the next four years. The company, which recently secured a billion dollars in funding for a staggering valuation of $39 billion, is partnering with the global real estate asset giant Brookfield to supercharge its efforts. 
With the agreement, Figure gets access to Brookfield's vast real estate portfolio to collect human environment interaction data to train its proprietary Helix Vision language action model. While the data could give Figure a competitive advantage, Rich Tech frames its planned centers as shared infrastructure. The company says the data will strengthen the entire American robotics industry. For a comprehensive rundown of the humanoids to watch out for going into 2026, check the related video.